Hello guys, welcome back. This is the last part, part three in for the week for the week eight. So just a reminder, we were doing the JavaScript form validation and regular expression. So earlier we have seen the validation. We have gone through an example. So you can write you have to write your own code in JavaScript and sometimes you can use or you can add uh, reg x regular expression reg x reg x stands for regular expression this is an object okay it's an object in uh, javascript so validating forms through regular expressions sometimes it's not efficient to use regular expressions sometimes it's very convenient if you use it once or twice you're not going to call it the function or the regular expression many times so it's very convenient because it can do so much with one line. Uh, but you need to know how to write your own validation method or functions, all right? So for regular expression, this is how we use, guys, what, what we use. This one. So we're going to declare, declare a pattern, all right? And assign a pattern to that variable. Uh, the pattern is always between these forward slashes. All right, so let's use an example here. So var pattern one receives, and you don't use code, of course, forward slash, forward slash, and you put whatever you want. Uh, so we are using the Spain. So the example there. Whatever, okay. So I went to Spain and I had a pain while in the plane. Oh, sorry, that's the sentence. What I'm saying. So, part will be A. You, you guessed it, okay? <laughs> A-I-N. And my sentence or my phrase is this. So, var string is... So, that's my phrase here, right? Okay. Now, I'm going to look for this pattern, the occurrence of this pattern, A-I-N, inside the string. All right. So, we can have modify. I'm going to show you this one later on. So uh, we can use the pattern test or we can use the string search if you want to search or the string match. So for the test is going to be the pattern for the search and match is going to be the string. You just have to remember that. So pattern one dot test and str. This is going to return true. Yes, your pattern one, which is A I N, is found in the this sentence. Okay, str. If I do pattern one and find it in hello pale, okay, and it's gonna be false. Hello pain is gonna be true. Now, if I do my str, remember my str? I went to Spain and I had a pain while in the plane. Uh, if I do str dot search for the pattern one inside the str, it's uh, gonna give me the position of my a in here. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Probably so. If you count from here to here, you find it's 12. All right, so you're going to find the first occurrence. If I do hello play dot search, and I have pattern one, isn't it? Pattern one is going to give me minus one. Do you remember this, guys? Minus one in your search method in Java. You always, when you write the search method, if the uh, element to look for is not found, you always return minus one. Because search, most of the time, in many programming languages, 
if the element is found, it's gonna show you the position, not the element, because obviously you know the element and you just know want to know where it is. So it's gonna give me the position. Position more than minus one, meaning zero and above is found, and position is minus one means not found. If I use matches, alright? So we have a function here, match, alright? It's a string function here. So match and pattern one match pattern one and it's going to give you an array where you will find your element okay here it's going to give me only one because the first occurs here now if i want all of them i'm going to use this modifier there is slash uh, the modifier that comes after this, the last slash so z is global match find all matches rather than stopping after the first occurrence i for case sensitive and m for if you have multiple lines okay uh, a brick so in my case here i'm gonna use g So, where do I go? In pattern one, I'm going to use G. All right. And find pattern one, and it's a global. Can you see, guys? If I change it, um, it's going to find only the first occurrence. So this is a good match if you want to find all of the number of occurrences and you're going to do this. Uh, dot length. I have three elements here. All right. If it's not fine, the length will be zero, of course. Uh, you have also the... Mm, the I, I means case insensitive. This is really good as well. Uh, so what do you do? I'm gonna use an example here. So var pattern two, path two receives H E L. All right, now string is hello from hex. All right, so I'm going to do str dot match and oh sorry, I'm going to use the pattern pattern two. Where is pattern two? Ah. Oh, pattern two. Sorry, guys. It has to be this. I forgot. Okay. And so I'm going to put G here for all occurrences. And this is str. No, str dot match and path one. Ah, path two. And give me only one farm. But what if I use GI and boom, we have here the capital letter L that is taken into consideration because I have here I insensitive, both capital and lowercase. Uh, another thing, guys, is that you can really create an object instance. So either use this forward slash. Or you can use this var pattern three receives new remember rag x so it's an object guys regular expression and here you put your regular expression let's say I'm gonna use the same code as in here so crypt all right so I use here crypt is it crypt yeah crypt 
Now see how it's going to run through here. Path three. It's the pattern. Very good. Okay. See, it's it's an, ob an instance of the object pattern. All right. You can see here, guys, the methods and the functions here. You can, can find them. All right. The test, for instance. Uh, so now we're gonna try some of these methods or some of this execution here. So my uh, pattern test uh, JavaScript. You have clipped here, so it's gonna be true. Kryptonite and scrap. So JavaScript dot search for pattern one or pattern three. So you search is num position five. You can count here, guys, and find it in position number five. Uh, JavaScript Kryptonite not found because I made a mistake here. So Kryptonite is at position zero, guys. Remember? So zero is means found. And scrap scrap is minus one, not found. Alright. So in the regular expression, you can use either forward slash to define your pattern with some modifier, I for insensitive, G for uh, global or occurrences, uh, and if you have multiple lines, and the, to test or to execute, you, you can either test or you can use the test or you can use exec. The test method is most is the most useful, it's very fast because it just tells you true or false, found or not. Accept string as an input. Okay, as a parameter, if you like, and return true or false, boolean. Uh, true if it's found, the pattern in that string. Regular expression can be computer. I told you earlier that they can be computationally expensive. So avoid regular expression if you have better way. For instance, uh, if I notice that the length is uh, very likely to be different from two things, I check the length before I start. If the length is the same, I'm going to do the regular expression later on. So save regular and also save regular expression in variable for reuse, so browser can optimize them. So regular expression is, I mean, actually it's implemented as a function, and this is a general rule for functions. Do not call functions over and over again. You can call functions once if it's repeating many times. Save it into variable its value, then use that variable later on. You'll be running the function only once. So this goes with the regular expression as well. Uh, you have also, uh, you can use search and match. I didn't try the, sorry, I didn't show you the exam, but it's really easy. It's like the test. Uh, you can use search and match. We just use them right now. Okay. And these are the uh, commonly used regular expressions. And they are the same, I think, in, well, I think, but I, I've, uh, t I taught the Linux course and it's more or less the same. So this character is, Oh, hold on. This character is for escaping. Okay. This is start always the beginning. This is the end. These are special symbols, or we call them meta character. And this is a single character except a new line. So this will always replace a new line. Whenever you have a vertical line or bar, is the uh, alternative or all. It's an exclusive all, by the way. It's not inclusive. So one choice. This is the start of a class, this is the end of the class, uh, a pattern, end of pattern, uh, quantifier, especially in a number. And the quantifier here can be either 0 or 1 if you want to, if you use question mark. Uh, star is known to be for many, 0 or more, plus is more than, uh, is 1 or more. If you use x explicitly, x is going to be exactly x occurrences, x, y, minimum value, maximum value. And this is the min, where unbounded or, or max bound is uh, not stated. Um, so these are the meta characters, what they signify. Now, when we use them in a pattern, this is they were gonna do something, or they're gonna select or uh, perform some uh, matching, if you like. So 
a sequence of characters A, B, C, like we did crypt. Remember crypt on it and crypt, or we used hell, H, E, L. Remember now A, B, C, any character from this. Is gonna be zero one two, so it found this one here. You see, guys. If I use H here, it's gonna go to the next one, which is this E here. If I have here an A, it's gonna be to this one. So it's only one character here. It's looking for the first uh, character here. Uh, any character in the set. Okay, so this is the negation digits. So zero to nine, x plus one or more occurrences of the of the element here. So I'm gonna sorry that uh, x star zero or more occurrences of the uh, pattern x. X and the question mark means zero or one occurrence. Uh, x to four means two two times x or three times x or four times x. A slash b slash c any one of the patterns uh, starts x is at the start here x is at the end here we are escaping remember this is to escape because i could use a d here but sometimes d means digit so i'm going to use if i don't use uh, the escape character this d will be the character d but if i use the escape it's going to be a digit all right so either use 0, 9, or D. For instance, uh, pattern 1 receives oh, sorry, forward slash, slash, backward slash, D, and forward slash. Alright. So, no, let's use it this way. Uh, A, D, B. All right. So let's do this. A to B. Dot search. Or oh, let's see. Part one. Dot test. A to B. True. A to C. False. B to B, false. First has to be A, the second is a digit. 1 to B, false, because the third one is a 2, and the third one has to be a B here, unless I put this one into a plus, or I do this one. One or more occurrences for the pattern X. So let's do that. Uh, one thing. Sorry. Uh, D star true. True. 
true one or more occurrences of the D if I use the pattern here D and star after the B means one or more occurrences of B now I used to here guys you see it's oh uh, does it change Ah, oh, it's db guys so sorry db digit and b Ooh, a. Oh, it's for everything sorry uh for everything for a d and b Okay, I'm tired. Okay, let me uh, debug this one. So, what's wrong here? A, D, B star. Yeah, as long as there is an A digit, B is going to be correct. So, I should really use the question the the start of sub patterns here, the, the brackets guys. So we're gonna use the brackets and test them, alright? Uh, this is for a quantifier if you want to use exactly uh, a number or minimum uh, interval or minimum bound. But for the sub pattern you have to use this brackets here. So I'm going to use star here, remove the star, alright, so anything that has an A and many D digits and a B, uh, and a B inside. So if I have K here, it's a force. So as long as there is an A, many digits, okay, and a number, uh, sorry, a K, uh, uh, sorry, a B is gonna work. So if I have here, for instance, K is gonna work as well. If I have one here, it's gonna work because I have this pattern of B, any numbers, and an A here. Okay, this is the pattern here, guys. Okay, the pattern one. Whatever is before or after, it doesn't matter. Even if you have here X. Okay, it's true. I'm gonna bring break this one. Okay, I'm gonna try to break this one. Uh, if uh, if the A digits and B is broken. Meaning that I'm adding here between A and digit another X here, for instance. So it's false here. Can you see, guys? As long as it's an A digit and a B, it's good. Um, postcode examples, guys. So a postcode variable or zip code or po no, sorry, postcode for. Uh, our postcode is always uh, H4N space 1B7, for instance. Alright? So, what is the H here? H is a character. Is uh, Sorry, it's not character. It's, I mean, it's a character, but more precisely, it's an alphabet. Alright? So, alphabet, we're going to do this. A through Z. Alright? And we're gonna add a space, no, sorry, a digit. A digit is gonna be from, we don't use zero, so I'm gonna use one. From one to nine, it's an interval, guys. Then we're gonna use a Z. Then we're gonna add a space, and we're gonna add the other one, which is digit, digit, uh, alphabet and a digit 
and of course all your forward slash forward slash now we can add the i to in, in, in to incorporate or include not incorporate sorry to include the lowercase letters all right and let's do this post code dot test and i'm gonna use some post code here h14 and space 1b5 this is wrong because i have h14 here so if I use H1Z, it's going to be, it should be correct. Yes. Character, uh, alphabet, character, alphabet, one, I have space here. Oh, okay, I have space there. This one here has space, guys. So you see the space is very important here. Uh, so what do I do here? Now this one. This is wrong, false, and if I use here B, it's going to be true. If I use capital letter H or K, it's going to be true as well. If I remove the space, it's going to be false. So some people, they, add, they remove space, some they add space. So what should we, should we use in the pattern to include the space, guys? To include or remove the space. So let's go here and see, page up, do we have a space here, any white space, S. So I'm, I'm going to use the S here in my pattern, let's remove this, so in my pattern, I'm going to add here a space. The space is what guys, is this S, alright, let's try it. With the space it's good with two spaces no good without space no good so that's exactly one space so how i i'm gonna use uh one space or more so do you see a star guys you know we don't do many spaces but i'm gonna use star but for this one True. 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 Of course not true. All right. Um, you should not use a star here, guys. Just an example. You should really allow one space or zero space, which is what zero or one occurrence. That's nice. You see, guys, the question mark. So what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna change this one. This pat the pattern into a question mark. Why I use brackets to apply this question mark only on the space S. So, of course, this is wrong. This is wrong. This is wrong. This is wrong. Oh, this is true. Only one space. No more space. True. Good. All right. So, that's for the zip code. Um, you can test whether a pattern is in number, uh, a pattern has a digit, so the zero nine is inside. It's going to return true, obviously. So if I do this, uh, this is a pattern, guys. Zero to nine, any digit. I'm going to test in a sentence where there is a number. There is uh, a digit. True. There is no digit false. Okay. If you have many digits, of course, it's gonna give you also true. All right. This is daytime, guys. An example where I have a digit one to two. Uh, so a digit. Mm, one is here. Just give me a number. Dash one to two dash. Let's see. Is it four? This is four. Yeah. Uh, not showing properly. So the four here is for the year. I need a digit with four occurrences. For the D, this was not. 
should really I thought that this curly brackets were the square brackets I thought I made a mistake so here I have from one to two digits so some people they put uh, for example if the, it's less than 10 I would have put here one or five or six or nine more than uh, nine is gonna be two digits same thing for the day and for the month all right one single space sorry about that the hour is one or two digits and the seconds also is one or two digits all right now let's go to negation here this is not binary so any pattern where zero and one are not there we're gonna test this one we're gonna give you uh, true all of them are binary all right let's test this test these two guys so pattern here Okay, not binary, it's going to be new regular expression, and I don't, it's, it's not start, eh? it's uh, negation, eh? there's a difference between start with and negation, so 0 and 1. Alright, now I'm going to test the, all these ones. So not binary dot test on the string one zero and it's gonna be false. If I add it to here is true. Alright, if I add a three, obviously or false is true as well. Okay, neighbor with question mark. We use question mark earlier. Remember, guys, it's one occurrence or zero occurrence. So this question mark will apply on the U. So if you don't provide U, it's gonna be good. If you provide U once, it's gonna be U as well. So this is the British uh, spelling, and this is uh, North American spelling for the neighbor. Uh, the color here, guys, you see. I have O O O U. Let's do this one. This is interesting. So uh, pattern one is color. So some people they write it this way. Some people they write it with an O. So I could use O R O U. All right. And color dot match. Pattern one call very can you see so tiny call O O U I'm getting tired so call O O U Ah space on oh space guys the space never put the space why don't you put the space don't remember all right so you see it's found and if i use color also it's found um i could use this using the U of course so both of them they have O and for the U it's one or nothing all right so it's found Right, let's use this example here so we have a cat here so this is the, uh, this is the last slide I'm gonna go through so uh, pattern one is C dot so pattern one is C dot I did plus uh, plus T and we're gonna interpret it all right so C dot plus T. So let's see the plus. Plus, remember, it's 
one or many and the dot is you can see it here uh, the dot is any single character except the new line any character the plus is one or more so my pattern here uh, means C plus any character one or more than a T so if I use cat or pattern one dot search or sorry test and I'm going to use cat so this A plays the role of the dot true if I use here zero 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 it's going to be true because I the dot is any character all right except the new line and it's one or many if I use zero here nothing it's going to be false because I need at least one character all right down 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 where was that oh, down 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 all right so uh, coefficients so the C is the C then I have dot plus means O E F F until I reach a T so all these guys here plays the role or the matching of dot plus doctor you see there's a CT here and nothing in between what if I have a T here doctor okay let's use this one it's gonna be true uh, so yeah see guys doctor because I didn't close that's why doctor false but if I use doctor true because there's a C and many characters and the last one or at the end there is a T I mean, not really at the end but later on after the uh, at least there's something between C and T that's the meaning okay at least there's something between oh that's really small C and where is the T this one so C T O than a T. All right. Uh, what about this pattern? Okay. Uh, start with the C at and end. Uh, uh, sorry, start with the C and end with any character after an S. We use this. So pass two receives ah, pass two receives start with the C and has an A T then S then after S a single character then it has to end with a single character it means there must be another character after the S. All right. So does it match? I like cats. Let's see it. So, path two dot test. I like cats. So, start with the C A T S. Uh, cats are false. No. I'm gonna bring this at the beginning. False. Cats. False. What if I remove all this? Uh, C A T S. Um, one single character. Part two. What is that? Um, add to C A T. Oh no, sorry. The question mark is one occurrence or zero. Oh, sorry. I'll add, oh. Um, so one occurrence or zero. Remember that, guys. The question mark. Where is question mark here? 
Yeah, one occurrence or zero. Sorry about that. So ends with s or nothing. So if I use here cat is true. If I use cat e is false because the last one where is the because the last one has to be an s or not not an s meaning a t okay um, okay so that's it for today you can use this one as well this is a good example you can use uh, 33 you can use the square or the curly brackets uh, if you have questions du during the live session we're gonna go and try to solve these problems as well all right if you have any question non void or void or vowel this is good also as an exercise you're gonna have to use a negation all right any three lowercase letters you're gonna also use them okay guys uh, that's it for today and for this lecture I'm gonna stop here and thank you for your attention and for watching the video of course so it's gonna be control